Hello everybody and welcome back to another video with the American Shrug Foundation. My name is Chaz Trujillo and I'm one of the occupational therapy students from the University of Kansas Medical Center. In today's video, we'll be going over some stretches and exercises that can be done using a common household item, which is a broom. So you can also use a cane or if you have a mop, I've got a Swiffer wet jet here that I can also use uh, to complete these exercises and stretches. All right, so before we get into the exercises, we want to make sure that we found a stable, sturdy chair to sit in, and we have both of our feet flat on the ground. So the first exercises that we're going to do are core, and the first one we're going to do are twists. To incorporate our broom, we're going to place both of our hands on top and then twist the one way and then twist to the other side. So the broom is a little bit more weighted where it's got the bristles. So you're going to have to find that sweet spot of where to put your hand. And we're going to do about 20 of these, so 10 on each side. So we'll go ahead and get started. One. Come to the middle and then twist to the other side for two. Come to the middle and make sure that while you're doing these, you continue to breathe. That's an important factor that a lot of us forget to do throughout the whole exercise. So breathing is just gonna make it a little bit easier for us and it's gonna give us a little bit more endurance throughout the activity. Six, seven, eight. And also when you're doing these, make sure you have enough room to, so that you're not knocking anything over. I'm lucky because I'm just about clearing up <laughs> this stuff over here. Twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, so the breathing on this is breathe, <clears throat> so the breathing on this is take a breath while you're in the center and then exhale as you twist and then take another breath while you're coming back to the middle and then exhale as you twist. We got a couple more here. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, okay, so now that we've done that, I've got my water here, and so if you have one at home and you wanna take a small water break before moving on to the next exercise, go ahead and pause the video, and then start it up whenever you're ready. All right, so the next exercise that we have are seated crunches. So similar to the twists, we're gonna have both of our hands on top of the broom, and we're gonna start with our feet flat on the floor and our hands and broom resting in our lap. And then we'll just go ahead and crunch forward and bring the broom to our knees, and then bring the broom down along our shins to our shoelaces or as far as you can go, and then come back up and that's one. And we're going to do 10 of these. So go ahead to the knees, down the shins, to your feet, and then back up. Two. Three. Four. Breathing on this is take a breath as you come up, breathe, and then exhale on the way down. So big breath in through your nose, and exhale through your mouth on the way down. Seven. Eight. 
down, back up for eight. We got two more here. Breathe and exhale. Breathe as you're coming up. Last one. Slide down your shins and then come right back up. Okay, good job. So now that we have our core warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and move on to stretches and exercises for our arms. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set our broom flat on the floor and you can use your hand. We wanna start on our affected side if you have any spasticity and uh, you wanna place your hand on top of the broom, your affected hand, and then you can your, then you can put your unaffected hand on top of that. And we're just gonna be parallel with our knee. And so this first move is we're just gonna go lean forward and diagonally, and then come back. And you should feel that stretch in your arm as you do. So we're just gonna do 10 of these real nice and slow, and just lean, and we'll hold it here for just a second. Three, and you should feel the stretch through your arm and down through the side of your body. That's for five. And so if this stretch feels good for you, then you can hold it in this spot for five to 10 seconds or longer if you'd like. Just go back ahead and come back out, seven, eight, and with each rep, we want to try and go a little bit further, stretch a little farther than the last one. One more here, and ten, okay. So now that we're done with that one, we can leave our affected hand on top of the broom and we're just gonna move the broom to our opposite knee, parallel, and then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just do diagonal leans, forward and out, and this time we're gonna do five. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds and then come back for two. And then similar to the last exercise, with each one we want to go a little bit further if we can. There's three. Lean. Four. So this broom is giving us a little extra balance. So that as we're leaning, we've got more support. So now that we're done with those ones, we're going to bring the broom back to the other side, keeping our affected hand on top, and we're going to make small circles. So you can use your unaffected hand to help guide the broomstick. And so we're going to reach out and forward and then come around. And as you get to the side, it's okay to go ahead and bend your elbow and then come through and extend your arm again. So we're gonna do five forward and then five backward. So that's two. Nice and slow, bend the elbow. Three, bring it around. Big, nice and slow circles. Four, last one, and five. Okay, and now we'll go backwards. There's one, two, Three, four, 
four, last one, big circle, bring it around, and five. Okay, so the next exercise, uh, we're gonna have our broom parallel with our affected side, and with our affected hand still on top, and we're gonna use our unaffected hand to help guide the broom down and back up. Down and back up. So an extra thing that we can do while performing this exercise is use our eyes to follow our hand that's on top of the broom. And that's gonna give us a little extra mobility in our neck and our core. We're gonna do 10 of these. That's four, down, and up for five, down, and up for six. Make sure to keep breathing. And we want to do these in a slow, controlled manner. We don't want any uh, fast or jerky movements. Just nice and slow. All right, we got one more here. Make sure those eyes are following the hand that's on top. Okay, good job. So if you need a break, remember you can pause the video, uh, grab a drink, and then start it back up whenever you're ready. And don't forget, you can do these exercises on each side, uh, depending on how much time you, you got or however many reps you wanna do. All right, so the next exercise that we have are called flag raises. And uh, continuing on with the past exercises, we're gonna keep our affected hand on top of the broom or the cane or the mop, whatever you've got. And you're gonna use your unaffected hand to put towards the lower side of the broom. And you're gonna use your unaffected hand and push your affected side up and get a really nice stretch through your bicep and your chest all the way down through your side. And so maybe the first time you just bring it about 90 degrees or straight out to the side and you want to hold it for about five seconds and then bring it back down. And then similar to the last exercises, we want to try and go a little bit further each time. And make sure when you get to the top, uh, you're going to hold it there for at least five seconds and then we'll come down. And again, we want to do these nice and slow. So push, push, push. Hold. And then come back down for three. And again, you know, we don't want to push past uh, the point of pain. So we want to find that sweet spot that works for you. So maybe this is how far you can go and that feels good for you, just go ahead and do that. But if you can get it a little bit higher without feeling any pain, then that's great too. So we'll hold it and then we'll come back down for four. We'll do one more here. Push. Hold. And then come back down. So on these next five, I'm gonna add a, an extra movement in here. So we're gonna push the broom up, and then we're gonna twist, and then come back to the center. And use your eyes, again, to follow your affected hand. So push up, and twist, and then come back to the center, and down. So also when you twist, we'll go up and twist, you can use your neck to go ahead and try and look behind you. And that'll give us an extra stretch 
in our neck. So we'll be accomplishing a couple things with this exercise. So there's three. Up, follow with your eyes, and twist, and turn your neck, and then come back to the center, and down. One more here, push up, raise your arm as best as you can, twist, and then come back to the center. Good job. So, uh, once you're done with that side, you can go ahead and switch the broom and try five on this side, and then do an extra five with the twist. Okay, on to the next exercise. So we're gonna bring our broom straight in front of us and uh, we're gonna have it just in front of our feet. And then similar to the last exercises, we're gonna have our affected hand on top of the broom and we're gonna actually bring our affected hand and place it on top. And we're just gonna go ahead and lean forward similar to those crunches, and then come back up. So when we lean, we're gonna get a really nice stretch in either side of these back muscles right here. And we'll lean forward, we'll do five of these, and hold, and then come back to the center. Take a breath, and then exhale as you lean forward and hold that stretch and then come back to the center that's three out lean hold and then come back one more take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale through the mouth as you lean forward okay and then come back. And then go ahead and take a water break if you need one. Otherwise, just keep letting the video play. Okay, time for our next exercise. So we're gonna start with the broom uh, in our laps, and our hands on top of the broom, and we're just gonna do some rowing. So similar to the exercises at the beginning, uh, since the weight of the broom is heavier on one side and lighter on the other. You're gonna to have to find that sweet spot to even it out. And we're just gonna go ahead and row. So we're gonna go this way and that way. Again, try and make sure you've got enough room to do this. So we're just gonna go back and forth. And we're gonna do this for 20 reps. So one, two, three, four, five, I'll make sure I don't hit any plants or knock anything over, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I'm getting pretty close, 18, two more, 19 and 20. Okay. So our arms are getting a really pretty good workout. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do are shoulder raises. So you staying in that sweet spot, both hands on top of the broom. We're just gonna raise it up to about our chin and then come back down. And so if you're having trouble holding onto the broom, you can go ahead and hold on to your elbows and then bring those up and stop right at about your chin level and then come back down. So we'll do 10 of these. So I'll do five with the broom and five of my elbow. And feel comfortable to do all 10 with the broom or all 10 at the elbow. So we'll go ahead and get started. So here's one and down up and down. So the breathing on this is breathe as you come up 
and then exhale on the way down. Breathe in through your nose and blow out through your mouth. One more. In and up, blow out and down. So that's five. And then we'll finish out at the elbow or finish out with the broom. There's one for six, seven, down, up, down for eight, up, down, nine, up, down, ten. Okay, so as usual, if you need a break, go ahead and pause the video, get yourself a drink, and then come back whenever you're ready. The next thing we're gonna do are called shoulder presses. So we're gonna have our broom, and we're just gonna push it up to the sky, or to the ceiling, <laughs> wherever you're at. And we're gonna do 10 of these. So if uh, you're having trouble, again, holding onto the broom, you can clasp your hands together um, and you can have your affected thumb laying over your unaffected thumb to get a nice stretch in your hand. And we're just gonna start with our hands clasped at our chest and then go ahead and push your hands together and up. And you can do 10 that way. So I'll do five of each. So here's one, up, down, breathe in as you go up, and exhale on the way down, two, up, down for three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down for six, push up, come down, seven, up, down, eight, two more, up, down, nine, up, down, ten. Okay, good job. Okay, we got a couple more here. So the next thing that we're gonna do are shoulder squeezes. So basically, we're just gonna have our broom hands on top in that sweet spot where the broom is balanced out. And we're just gonna pull the broom back to our chest while we're squeezing our shoulder blades together and then back out, push out and then pull and squeeze back in. So if you're having trouble holding on to the broom, go back to that clasp, uh, go back to where your hands are clasped and straight and then pull back. Let me see if I can get a side view here. So it's gonna look, push out and then squeeze back. And then with the broom, <laughs> push out and squeeze out and squeeze. So we'll do 10 of those. Okay, here we go. Out and in, one, out, in, two, out, and in, three, out, and in, four, five, push out, and in, six, out, in, seven, make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades, out, and in, nine, out, and in, ten. All right, we got one more exercise here, and then I'll let you guys go. Uh, these are bicep curls, so instead of having our hands on top of the broom, this time we're gonna come under and then 
So your palms or your hands are gonna be resting on top of your knee. And then we're just gonna curl the broom up about to our chin and then back down. <laughs> so one, two, down. And if uh, you want a modified way to do this, hands clasped and up and down, up and down. And uh, also if you wanted a challenge uh, you, or you want some weight, you can use some vegetable cans or uh, cans of soup. You can use your water bottle to, to hold on to while you're bringing it up and curling. Otherwise, uh, you don't have to use any weight or you can use your broom. So there's three, down, up, down. We got 10 of these, up, down, up, down, six, seven, eight, down, up, down, nine, last one, up, down, and ten. So with the end of our exercises and stretches, I just wanted to say thank you guys for joining me in some exercises using our broom uh, or a cane or a mop, whatever you used. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And uh, be sure to check out our Facebook and Instagram pages and look at some of the rest of our YouTube videos for some more great content and educational information. So until next time, guys.